stay off grid here if you haven't already please like and subscribe that'll help me out a lot please comment on videos on youtube not facebook that helps out my algorithm so i get more viewers i make these videos to basically help out anyone that's uh you know new to the sport background of me is that uh i am 49 years old and i'm just last year decided to get back into sailing i originally started sailing at the age of 15. Uh, i crewed on a hobie 16. my dad basically forced me into sailing i was playing aussie rules and i loved it uh, i wanted to play first grade and but i was told i was crewing on a hobie 16. so i did that for a year a year after that my dad bought uh a Hobie 18 and he had a the kid up the road crewing for him so he gave me the Murray Cat uh, 4.3 sloop rig and it was also a uh, super sloop rig and that was in 1988 yeah. 89 and I sailed super sloop sorry sloop rig for two years one crew one year one different crew the next year um, won the Illawarra Youth Championship a couple times something like that and then I went on to sail Super Sloop uh, about 91, 92, and then I gave it up because uh, I become uh, a full-time drinker in the pub on Friday nights. <laughs> so now I'm not a drinker and I've decided to start fixing boats. I fixed one boat up and sold it, sold a few sails, don't get me started on the sail, uh, one of them anyway. Um, and I endeavoured, I set out to, to build the best Murray Cat that I could. I didn't know you could buy a brand new boat at the time. I've spent a lot of money on this. I paid five grand for the boat and then I've spent another Too long. It is going to be a long video, but it's going to just, just for people that have been looking at boats, thinking of buying one of these boats, but you know nothing about it. This will help you rig the boat and set it up. You know what things are and what they do. All right. For those that are racing them or whatever, you don't need to watch these videos unless you just like um, my lovely smile. All right, <laughs> let's get to it. Okay, so this boat at the moment is set up as cat rig. What cat rig means is that all I'm going to have is one sail off the mast here, the back sail, right? So some boats you'll see have another sail at the front. If we've got a sail at the front, it's called sloop rig. Now, some boats, have out here another wire coming from here which is a trapeze wire which allows them to stand out it's it comes from the top of the mast or up where the other wires come from and then the elastic uh it it sits here you grab it you put it on your harness and you can stand out the side of the boat right so that's called then you've got one sail two sail out on trapeze that's called super sloop all right, so when you're cat rigged, you have two stays at the front. One comes down to the front of the hole here, goes back up to what's called the hound at the sort of three quarter mast mark on the mast there. Then the other side comes down to the other side of the hole. Now, if it was sloop rig or super sloop, because it's got another sail, that sail sits in the middle here. So we need something that sail to sit on so what we do is originally they would have put a bridle goes across here to the middle and then down to this side and then that in the middle the wire goes straight up to the middle now originally they probably had these stays on as well now we just take those off and you just have the bridle coming across here I'll show you in another photo of my other boat and then we have to stay up and that's that sail there okay so cat rig two stays at the front okay super sloop one st a bridle and one stay at the front sloop a bridle and one stay at the front and we have the jib this is the jib sail at the front the sail at the back is called the main sail what we have here at the front to adjust mast rake now mast rake is basically how much angle this mast has got on it so if I stand back here my boat is sitting on an angle but you can see that there's quite a lot of mast rake on it which means it's leaning back on an angle 
but that's what you've got to adjust it usually standard is that's that is what you're looking at these chain plates on the back I have a smaller chain plate this is usually standard Murray cat ch chain plate for the rear I'm using these little pin clips some people don't like those I think they're fine they've still got a six millimeter pin and if you get the right size they can't come undone also I put these this is a Hobie cat uh, shroud cover I just put a little split in it I'll put that all the way down there because it won't it, we didn't fit over my pin then what I do is I just put a bit of tape here uh, to tape that up and if you really want put tape over that to uh, make sure now some people like to put a shackle through these on this side I've just done that to show that the problem for me is that it's really really hard to get that in when if you're doing it by yourself one hand you've got one hand you've only got two hands you've got to hold you've got to hold the stay with one hand you've got to hold this with one hand you've got to get that pin in with your with your hand the shackle by yourself way too hard and those split pins have got six millimeter shaft anyway so uh, six millimeter pin anyway so this should be just as strong so here's the sail in the bag there and we've got the boom there so so this thing here is called your halyard it's the thing that's going to pull the sail up uh, to the top of the mast all right so this is a brand new mast from uh, Brisbane Murray Cat Centre it's got what I've found is really nice is this the bit where your sail goes in where you feed it in is a little bit deeper but then it's got this little guide here and the sail goes mine's a brand new sail so it goes up nice anyway but with this so much easier to get up we we'll discuss if you want to look into another video i've got on downhauls this is part of the downhaul i'll quickly discuss that later but i'll leave these little things in my sail because the ones that i've bought which are a little hook and a pulley on it um which are a ronston part i'll put the part number up later uh they will not fall out and they're really really hard to get in so what I've found is I just leave them in there and I just re-thread my rope through the uh, RF5s down the bottom here these are Baden or well, sail protectors okay so I'll do a video on that later of what they're there for why they're there and if you haven't seen them look up you'll see them everywhere at every regatta you go to now all right, that'll be on a video later. At the end of the boom is a gooseneck. Gooseneck slides into here. My hand's not in the way. I'm gonna bring it up. Oh. Bring it up to the sail. Connect it up there. That just shackles into that. The top part of the, the big part of the, of the gooseneck. So there's a little part at the bottom, a big part at the top. And I've found it Oh, I go into the top hole. Yeah, there's two holes, but I'm going into the top hole. Because okay, so at the back of my sail, I'll leave my shackle there. And then we have the other end of the boom. And this thing here is the out hole. There's another video. Hopefully, I'll, I'll work out how to put videos up in the corner. But um, there's another video on the out hole, what it does, and how to set it up. So, all right, so that's, that's that shackle done into there. Now what I want to do is grab the main sheet. Okay, so that's the main sheet. So that's connected to the boom and then it's connected down here to the traveler car now this main sheet is a harken 57c all right so there's def various different ones of these that you'll find this is a six to one so what that means is it's got three pulleys at the top three pulleys at the bottom because it's three we've got one two three four five six there's six ropes between those three pulleys and there's one that you pull on so what that's called is a six to one purchase now I've got I've got that in at the moment and you probably should never have it in when you're sitting here there's no wind but still if a gust comes the boat's gonna tip over it's the traveler so this rope here is adjusting how far out I've got that this so, thing here is called a tiller extension so it's a battle stick one by Ronston so it's what you're using to steer the boat and like I'm standing 
way off the side of the boat here and what my measurement is is, is that the mine's about two meters long you can get extension ones for but it basically gets to the front beam where if you're going downwind that's where i'm sitting okay rudders this boat the everything the only things that are not brand new the hulls are foam but they were built in 2008 so they're second hand the beams are second hand these castings are second hand every other part on this boat is brand new brand new rudders from brisbane murray cat uh brisbane catamaran center and they're the same rudders off the uh nacra 350 these are brand new tiller arms that's what we call the tiller arm this is called a pigmatic rudder saver there's videos on this so i've done videos of when i put all this together on my other boat but basically what happens is that you pull this the the rudder goes down if the rudder hits something these undo that for a sec get that out. these pop up okay which then means the rudder comes up again okay so they're not designed for just running up the beach all the time when you're coming into the beach you should just you know get your rudders and and put them at about that angle so you can you can still steer and you can get to the beach this is for emergency hitting something emergency only unless you want to wreck your rudders okay so downhaul what the downhaul does is it's just pulling the sail down all right so yeah i'm just going to feed my rope i'll just keep the rope in the pouch here so that's tied on that's tied on and let it go so with this radial cut sail it's um said that it doesn't need as much downhaul now looking at my sail it always looks like the the wrinkles are coming this way so by pulling it down it's not getting the wrinkles out i've got i don't know how much to adjust this yet when i did go out and sail once ah uh, one of the other sailors said i had it too tight i thought i had it barely on so i'm not 100 percent certain yet but we'll work it out all right so i've put a bit of um main sheet onto that just to look at the sail a little bit better we get hit by a gust where uh be easier for me to fix that halyard up because the boat will tip over all right so if i'm looking at that now it's for another video but i'm going to give that just a little bit more all right stay off grid that's me for an episode uh i forgot to make a um ending so i'm doing it now in the afternoon uh if you there's up in the corner somewhere at the end here there should be the playlist for all the other murray cat videos that i've made if you want me to elaborate on anything that I haven't done already or even uh, re, you know, re go over something I've already done, do it again. Uh, by all means, let me know in the comments and I'll um, endeavour to make the video for you. See you later.